Hello everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed the last tutorial, especially you new Mugen players about how to install characters inside your Mugen. Well, tonight's tutorial is about how to set up the order of matches, you know, for characters that you want to fight in arcade mode. So, a lot of people will send me emails and requests to post up a tutorial on how to do it, so I'm going to show you guys how to set up the order. So, let's begin. Okay, let's begin. It's very simple. It's not even that hard. And it's very self explanatory. So, all we gotta do is you open up your Mugen folder. And as you see, you see your character folder, your data folder, and etc. So, what we want to do is we want to go to our um, data folder right here. So, let's, let's click on it. So, now we're inside the data folder, and look what we have here. All of the familiar files we talked about in previous tutorials. So it's basically simple. It's nothing else to it. It's not that hard. We want to revisit the select death file. So when you go into your data folder, go inside your select death file. So let's click on it. Okay, so we're inside the select death file. So what we're going to do is everything's familiar to everybody, we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down to this area where it says insert your character below. We're working on this area. But first let's focus on the options. What people fail to realize is on the options section there is instructions on how to set the order of the characters in arcade mode. It's very simple. The order is right here. There's a total of eight matches in a Mugen arcade match. The total of eight. Or you can fix it to set it to how many matches you want to by messing with this. Right here you have six, one, one. Added together equals eight. So the total of eight matches. So basically what we're going to do is since the total of eight matches we have we have like eight orders we can, we can set up. So say for instance we're going to go back into the insert your characters below area right here. Say for instance you want to fight Mega Man first. Before you be able to implement the orders, you make sure each character has a, ta a stage attached to them. So, for example, in the stage section, we had stage zero dot death. So I gave I gave everybody stage zero dot death to make this tutorial simpler. So basically, you got to do is since we got eight, since we got five people or whatever like that, it's, it's five orders. So you're gonna fight Mega Man first. So basically, all you gotta do is. Make sure everything is separated by comma. The character name, then comma. The stage name, then comma. Then after that, you type in order equals one. So Mega Man is going to be the first person you're going to fight. Then, you're going to fight Cyclops second. So what we're going to do is, we're going to come right here. Space this. Order equals two. So Cyclops is the second person you're going to fight. Now, we're going to go to Zangief. He's going to be Order 3. And then Venom, which is Order 4. And then the last person, last but not least, Kung Fu Man, which is going to be Order 5. And it's basically simple. But there's one thing I want you guys to remember. I know a lot of people who want to ask me questions. Well, how do you set the order if you have 80 people or 100 and something people? It's that simple. If it's eight matches, the order is eight. So, you can put more than one character with the order of one. So, whoever, if you have, say for instance, you have five characters in the order of one, that means the, um, this, the software is going to pick out randomly whoever is in that order one. And then say since you have eight characters that's in order two. So when you get the when you get to the second person you're gonna fight, well the six people or eight people that you got in order two, the system's gonna randomly pick out of that eight that you have chosen to be in order two, and so forth and so on. So it's very self explanatory. So after that, you close out, I'm gonna ask you do you wanna update? Click yes. Okay. Okay, so we're opening the Mugen. And go to arcade mode. 
remember, I said Mega Man is order one. So we're going to fight him first. So, let's do it. See? Mega Man has appeared. We are fighting. Like Very simple. Play through. Now remember, the second person we're going to fight is Cyclops, because that's the order that we have placed. So watch, Cyclops is the second person we fighting, because of the order that I placed him in. Not a use venom like that, so excuse me. It's not the best you're liking. And Zangief was a third person. So. We want to eat. And Zangief was a third person. So now you guys know how to change the character order in which you guys would like to fight them. Especially if you guys have boss characters and you want to fight them last and you place their order as last. It'd be very simple, very easy, and even more enjoyable since you, you know, you want to fight the people that you wish to fight instead of them just randomly just generating fighters for you. So that's it tonight for this tutorial and I'll make sure I have another one posted up, you know, sometime this week because this is, this is the end of the semester and I have a lot of studying, a lot of work to do and get things out of the way and then I'll have some extra stuff for you guys, okay? Peace out.